It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible is saying that there are people out there, there are men who put on women's clothing, and there are men or women who put on men's clothing, and he says these people are an abomination to God. Cross-dressing, transvestite, Okay, so we don't want to be like unto those people, these wicked people that are out there who are out there in drag, whether it's a man dressing as a woman or a woman dressing as a man. We don't want to be like unto those people that are an abomination unto the Lord God, the sodomites. Okay, so we want to make sure that we have gender specific clothing. The Bible says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Bible is teaching us that there is certain clothing that pertains to men, and women should not wear it. And then the Bible says that a man should not put on a woman's garment. Okay? It's very clear here. Now, in today's culture, this doesn't fly. And churches today try to explain this away and say, well, that's the Old Testament. We're not under the law. Folks, when Jesus died on the cross, it wasn't to liberate your closet. Jesus dying on the cross, shedding his blood for our sins, freeing us from the curse of the law, getting us out from under the Levitical priesthood, under the priesthood of Melchizedek, doesn't change the fact that God wants men to look like men and women to look like women. Otherwise, explain 1 Corinthians 11. He obviously feels the same way, folks. He wants us to have gender-specific clothing. Now, in our culture today, thankfully, barely... Skirts and dresses are still considered women's clothing, right? And if a man puts on a skirt or a dress, people are going to freak out, right? In our 2019 American culture, people are still going to freak out. But unfortunately, we've gotten to a point in America now where there is no article of clothing that the world considers men's clothing. Basically, anything that men wear, they think it's okay for women to wear. So basically, we have gender-neutral clothing and women's clothing. No such thing as men's clothing in the mind of a lot of people in 2019 America. Well, let me tell you something. We need to have some clothing that is specific to men in order to be in compliance with God's word here. In order to follow the intent of God's word, we should keep the pants on the men and the skirts and dresses on the women so that there can be a difference. Okay. Now you say, well, I think it's just fine for women to wear pants. Okay, well then what, what's, a, what's the thing that pertains to a man? There's nothing left. If you put the women in the pants, then basically you've given them access to the whole department store of clothing. Okay, so unfortunately today, those of us in the new IFB, quote unquote, are almost the only people still preaching this left amongst independent Baptists. Most of the independent fundamental Baptists now have backed down on this, even though back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, they were preaching, hey, we need to have women wearing skirts and dresses, keep the men in pants, amen? Now, in the last 20 years, they've totally backed off on that. Now you'll see the pastor's wives out in pants, and nobody bats an eye. But it's isn't it interesting how they'll still wear the skirts and dresses to church, right. put on a show, go home, put on the jeans, go out and, uh, you know, operate a jackhammer or whatever. So, 